today we're gonna be reviewing the Cuisinart Custom Select Four Sliced Toaster. All right, let's get started. Let's go unbox it. Boom! <laughs> the Cuisinart Custom Select Four Sliced Toaster. Four slices. I mean, this is a monster. This bad boy here has four wide self-adjusting slots. That four. means it can fit what? Bagels, it can fit bread, it can fit waffles, pastry, English muffins. One thing I liked about this one, it has not one, but two different set of control. And we've been in a situation which you know when we did that video about uh, waffles and some people like their waffles dark, other people like their waffles a little bit uh, lighter. For me, this is awesome. Basically, it kind of knows the temperature that you can use it. And then at the bottom, it has a defrost button. That means if you pull that waffle from the refrigerator, defrost it first. So some of the features of this, basically, as I mentioned before, is a stainless steel um, stylish. Is It has some bread select dials, right? So you can pre-program for whatever one you like, which kind of bread. It also has a crumb tray, the usual crumb tray. High lift carries. High lift carriages. What? So basically the lift, you can just it pop up. it yourself. Oh, and you know, sometimes things get stuck, so you, this one you kind of like, Push it up a little bit. But enough about it. Let's take a look. Oh, it's your turn to unbox it. Ooh. Instruction manuals. We like we to don't. take a look at those. Oh. Nah. I would, I would say we don't need instruction manuals. Wow. Take this, a look while you do that. Basically, just this guy. This is a big boy. Isn't it is big. Well, wow. Wow. Well, look I do at have to this. say, this is a beauty. All right, so we wanted to mention that right here in the back, it has two separate trays for the crumbs. I like that. You know why I like it? Because it's not a single one. You don't, you don't always, you're yeah. always gonna use the same one, the same side, and you can divide that, which is really good. So, let's talk about the buttons. So here we have the bread dials, as I mentioned before. We have the bread, the bagels, the waffle, the pastry, and the English muffin. So there's preset. Um, you can press this button here if you have a single. If you're not going to use both um, both sides, the defrost button that Alex mentioned is right here, which is awesome, especially yeah. for let go my eggos because every time yeah. I put them off the the, the either, fridge, either the eggos or even bagels and other items, you know, when they're getting a little bit older, you can just freeze them and then use them later. Yeah, they both have a defrost button and also a cancel button in case you want to get started. And for each, um, how uh, dark you want yeah, it, how, how toasty. Right. So in the bottom you have the lever. See how much you want to get them toasted from one to seven and. The cable course. length? I think it's a pretty good length. I think yeah. it's pretty good. I think it does. I think it's pretty good. And we have a little thing that says toast your way. And you know what? The, I, this guy is um, yeah. pretty fancy. Looks good. Can we uh, test the uh, capacity of the... Oh wow. This, this yeah, is well, good. It won't no, it until it comes, you, until No, no, no. But on. look. It comes... Watch this. Look on this side. It comes all the way to the top. It really pushes it all the way up. Sometimes, that's what I hate about it, things get stuck. I like it, but we're not gonna test it. That's for a future video. This is a simple, full kitchen unboxing for you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any of these awesome videos. We'll see you on the next one. Team, Team Kettle, what? Reviews.